So in this video what uh, we will try to understand what this course policy uh, thing is and also try to you know resolve this for uh, our application so that our application works like we want our uh, uh, angular 8 application to consume the WebAPI method and get the department details is that's what we want so but before that let's try to understand what course is uh, you know um, course uh, the full form of course is cross origin resource sharing <clears throat> so basically it's a security feature which is by default enabled on all the ASP.NET Fib API projects so what that security feature is is uh, you know uh, when you uh, let's assume you have created a web API and you have hosted your API onto a server so now what happens anyone with the URL of your web API can consume that API and get the data or do whatever uh, the methods that you have implemented they'll be able to access those methods using the URL right so what happens now is that if you allow everyone to consume the API methods there are basically two main problems that can happen right if everyone starts consuming your APIs so, um, the first thing that happens is your bandwidth is going to reduce on the server right and the second most important thing is that uh, let's assume you have sensitive data and uh, if everyone starts using it then all your sensitive data is going to be exposed to the public right so you have to restrict the access so you have to restrict the people who are going to access or consume your API methods so that is nothing but the course policy so that feature is by default enabled in web web projects so if you want to whitelist some of the people that who can access the web API methods then you have to add the application URLs and uh, configure them right specifically configure them so now let's try to understand how to enable the course for uh, in web API project for our angular 8 application so let's type uh, course web API let's get to the default I mean the official Microsoft website and uh, you have to go to section where it says enable course so to enable the course we have to install this package from the NuGet package manager so let's go back to our ASP.NET web API project and stop the server and uh, let's click on the project and click on uh, tools tools NuGet package manager click on NuGet package manager console and it should open up like this let's zoom in and I've copied the installation command from the website all I have to do is I have to paste the command here click on enter and wait for the package to get installed on our API project So meanwhile, while it is being installed, let's try to add the methods or try to add the you know, whitelisting thing, you know, what we want to do, right? So let's try to add that. So you have to go to uh, expand this folder, which is, you know, app start. So this is app start, expand this and go to this file called web API config dot CS. Let's see the status. Okay, it's still being installed. So we have to write something called config dot enable. I think it's not available. Okay, 
config dot okay the method is still not available because we have not yet installed it so let's wait for the package to install uh, ideally it is not supposed to take this much time I guess it's trying to you know add yeah it's now done so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna import using system dot net dot http dot sorry system dot web dot http dot cost okay we're gonna import this and then let's try to whitelist our angular application so the application url of our angular uh, no the, our angular application url is localhost colon 4200 so we're gonna have to whitelist this url so we'll say config dot enable course <clears throat> so what is the url that we want to enable is this we'll paste that we got that and then we have to we can specify the methods that they can execute for now I'll say they can access all the methods and all the functions I'll say star and star we'll close this let's save it and run it to verify that we now have we now should have access to consume the API methods There is a build error. No overload method takes three arguments. Okay. So uh, we missed this. So it's we have to say new enable course attribute. This attribute takes these parameters not the enable course okay now let's try to do run Okay, the server API server is now up. Now let's try to access closed. Okay, let's try to refresh and check. We still have that error. Okay. Let us do one thing. Let us uh, clean the solution build the solution and so rebuild the solution now let's start that issue okay mm -hmm. stop let's delete this I don't, I'm not sure that if that thing works or not but also let's try to uh, restart our uh, angular project if this thing also does not work Yeah, so now we are able to access the API without any errors. Sometimes take some time to you know uh, reflect. Uh, so you have to be patient and try two or three times. Maybe then it works. So yeah, so now we are able to consume the API methods.
and uh, the next things that are left is to add the edit delete and also add new right and also the sorting and filtering of our table so let's try to implement those things in other videos